Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson and you're watching Get Your Sax Together, the home of online saxophone lessons where you can learn some cool tunes, get better technique, which is what you're doing today, and just, you know, feel better about your life because you're a better saxophonist and you're enjoying your music more. Now today, I'm going to try an alternative approach to altissimo, which is a top-down instead of bottom-up approach so that you can maybe break through this barrier if you've never been able to play those altissimo notes that you so desperately want to be able to make. Okay, let's give this a go. First up, go and grab the PDF for today's lesson. That's got the three fingerings I'm gonna show you and the notes that you can expect to get using those fingerings. Second of all, Go and check out my one hour saxophone success masterclass where there is a bunch of stuff about getting better at saxophone, improvising technique, practice, everything. You, <laughs> you better believe this is absolutely awesome. Go and check out the masterclass. Also, shh, there's something really, really exciting coming up with Get Your Sax Together if you're interested in working a bit more closely with me and becoming a better player. But that's all I'm gonna say at the moment. It's in the pipeline though. <laughs> right. Let's crack on now with this Altissimo video and let's see if we can get you upstairs. Here we go. Right, I'm gonna demonstrate this on tenor saxophone. You can do exactly the same thing on alto saxophone. Uh, relatively speaking, some of the pitches might be flatter, sharper, but basically it's the same idea. So I'm gonna de demonstrate the main lesson on tenor and then when that's done, I'm gonna quickly run through the three fingerings and the notes on alto just to show you, you know, that it's the same thing and you can hear it on alto. Second of all, if you cannot get those altissimo notes and you're thinking, oh, just uh, I haven't got the right setup, maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong. So after I've done the main lesson, I'm gonna do a little bit on uh, Yamaha 4C mouthpiece. Now, if you can't get it in Yamaha, <laughs> if I can get it on a Yamaha 4C mouthpiece with, I've got the two and a half reed here, which is classic beginner setup. So if I can get it on that, you can get it on anything. I can tell you it's much harder, but I'm going to give that a go as well, just to kind of rule out this whole setup thing. At the moment, I'm on my uh, 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 Mark VI, obviously, and uh, Florida Link 8 star with a number three Didario Ven reed. That's my setup today. Okay, let's crack on now, and I'm going to teach you what you're going to do to try and get these altissimo notes. Right, picture this for the metaphor. The main notes that you play across, uh, the two main registers of the instrument are the ground floor of the house and the first floor of the house, okay? Ground floor, first floor. They are the notes uh, up to the uh, middle D, then you've got the second octave up to the palm keys, all right? Cool. Let's call the altissimo the loft of the house. Now, traditionally, you'll try and get into that loft area through the hatch, okay? The ceiling, uh, the ceiling on the first floor is, let's say, high F sharp. You can't get through that loft hatch to get into the altissimo zone. That's because it's actually quite hard. What we're gonna to do today is we're gonna climb up on the roof, open the skylight and come into the altissimo range from the roof, from the top. And we're gonna use three different fingerings to do it. Hope that makes sense. That's the theory. <laughs> we're gonna do it uh, three, uh, one fingering at a time. Here's the first fingering. The first fingering we're gonna experiment with is the front F key on its own. That's the one above your, where your B finger normally is, if you didn't know that. The octave key and the side B flat key, which is the lowest of the three side keys. You're just gonna hold that fingering and then uh, stage one, you're just gonna blow it and see what comes out. It might be a complete donkey noise. It might be a high G. It might be a squealing note. I'm hoping it, you're gonna be able to get a squealing note. If you think it sounds like a squeak, good. Hold that squeak, all right? <laughs> it's probably not a squeak, and that's your barrier. You think you can't do high notes, but actually you can, and you just never knew it. So use that fingering, experiment, and try and get one of those really high squeals out. You might sound something like this. Okay, that's me just going wild. Quite a lot of the time you're gonna get the donkey, right? And quite a lot of the time you might get the super high note, but there's the notes to fill in in between and that's the aim of today's lesson. So from the bottom 
To the top, these are some of the notes which you might get. I think this is the full range of notes. They might be slightly out of tune, whatever, but here's the notes that I can find using that one fingering, okay? I've got some notes here. So the first one is a middle E flat. Then palm key D. Then you get your altissimo G. Then you get altissimo D. Then you get either an E or an F, uh, altissimo E or F. And then you get a double altissimo G. So if I try and string them together from the bottom to the top, that's middle E flat, palm key D, altissimo G, altissimo D, double F, uh, altissimo F, double G, okay? Now you might be able to get some notes higher than that. I think there's a B in there somewhere, like a double B maybe? <laughs> Pretty rubbish one, but I think it's there. So, hear the note, maybe play it on the piano, use that fingering and see if you can hit the high note. The strongest one is gonna be the altissimo D. And then the idea is that you fill in the gaps underneath. Remember, you're coming in from the roof, whee, on the really high note, and then you try and fill in the gaps. So try and drop down from that high D down to the altissimo G. What may happen is you drop from the altissimo D to the donkey. You might go, ah, <laughs> uh, but don't worry, you know, we're just, we're just having fun and uh, trying to figure this out. So high D to altissimo G. you might end up with a donkey. So the moral of the story is, these are what you previously thought were squeaks, but they're not, they're high altissimo notes. Let's now move on to the second fingering. The second fingering is a double fork style fingering, which is octave key, and it's like you're fingering a middle E flat, except you take off the middle finger of each hand. So effectively you've got one, three, four, six, E flat on your uh, right hand pinky, okay? Now, as before, just scream in there, see what comes out first of all, all right? I'm gonna do the same. <laughs> now remember, you're aiming for squeaks because they're not squeaks, they're just altissimo notes. So let's piece this together like we did before. Here are the notes from the bottom to the top that I made. We've got a low A, um, we've got a second octave A. These are really unstable donkey notes, okay? The bottom ones are just really unstable donkeys, donkey noises. <laughs> then we've got a sort of very out of tune uh, altissimo F sharp. Then we've got uh, altissimo C, which is gonna be the strongest note of all these. Then you've got an altissimo F, a double, uh, yeah, altissimo F, and then double G above that. So I'll try and play them from the bottom up, all right? So that is a low A. There are some of the notes that you might get, all right? Hit the one that's strongest, hopefully the artismo, and try and fill in the gaps underneath it. The C will probably be the strongest note out of that lot. So you're gonna hit that artismo C then, see if you can drop down to that kind of out of tune F sharp like this. Um, that way you can get the feeling of the high note and kind of cross that mental barrier that you, you can do this. You're coming in from the roof, you're coming in from the sunroof. You don't have to force your way through that, through that loft hatch, which is really tricky and you've got to get the ladder up there and all the stuff from the loft's fallen on top of it. <laughs> Let's really take this metaphor to the nth degree. Um, 
So that's how you can practice that one. Now, one more fingering come up and then I'll talk about setup and then I'll demonstrate some of this on alto as well. So here's the third fingering. The third fingering is like a middle D, but you take off the first finger in your left hand. So you're doing octave key and then two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now this is the usual fingering on tenor for an altissimo A. But once again, just scream away and let's see what comes out, whether it be high note or donkey. We should play a game, high note or donkey. Mixture of donkeys and high notes, right. Now then, let's piece together the notes that you might get using this particular fingering. So it's gonna be a middle C, an octave C, both those notes are the donkey notes. Then you get your altissimo A, it leaps up a major sixth to the altissimo A, and then you've got a altissimo D, and then a double F sharp. So you've got this second inversion D triad, A, D, F sharp at the top. So let's piece together those notes. So you could hear that D tried in there. Da da ba ba ba. Now, again, try and hit the high one and then drop down to the altissimo A. Okay, so I'm going to hit the D. And if you miss it, you drop into the donkey zone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So have fun with this, experiment, and see if you can get any of those screamers. And if you hold them and you think they're a squeak, they're not. Just hold it, it's a high note, all right? Believe me, you've got to get your ear used to that sound. And then use a piano or a tuner or play a note on uh, an octave lower in your sax to fix that note in your head, and then bam, try and pick it out on the altissimo. You probably need to use a bit more embouchure pressure. And, you know, the mechanics of what's going on inside your mouth, I'm going to tackle in another day. In fact, I'm even going to make a whole course about it probably later this year. I'm in my research phase. <laughs> and this is part of my research phase. So I'd love to hear in the comments if any of this works for you, because it's one big experiment right now. Okie dokes, let's now talk about setup, and then I'll quickly demonstrate on alto for you. So I was just using a Venn number three read with my uh, eight star link. Now that's pretty good for Altissimo, pretty hard read, pretty wide tip opening. But what if you haven't got that? What if you've got a Yamaha 4C with a two and a half read? Now you can't get more beginnery than that, can you? So I do, I'll be the first to admit, it's more of a, it's much more of a challenge and I can't get the really, really high ones. Somebody like Sir Valor, if you're watching, you probably can. Um, maybe I just need more practice with this type of mouthpiece. But let's see what I can do with a Yamaha 4C and a two and a half, just a standard Rico two and a half read. Don't get more bog standard than that. Okay, here we go. Here's the first fingering, which is the uh, front F fingering with side B flat. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? I got the uh, the G, easy enough. I got the palm key D, I got the, the donkey. Everyone can get the donkey. And then I got the high D, easy enough, but I couldn't get the double F and the double G, but I seemed to get something much higher than that. What was it, like a B or something? I don't know what that was, G-sharp? I don't know. <laughs> so I couldn't get all the notes and it is much more challenging, in my opinion, on a close tip mouthpiece with a soft read. Let's see what I can do on the second fingering. What was it? It was the, um, the, uh, the double fork with E flat, wasn't it? Not happening. 
I can't get anything above the high C on that one. <laughs> Pretty shocking, isn't it? I shouldn't be making this video. Um, but it might encourage you if you've got a really soft read and a really narrow tip math piece. It's not as easy as you think. All right, here's the third fingering. See what I can do in this one. No, I could get the F sharp. I could get the top D and the altissimo A and then a few donkey things, but I could not get the highest one. Now, here's another quick experiment. I'm going to use the Yamaha 4C mouthpiece, but with my other harder read instead of a two and a half read. Let's just see if it's the read, which makes a big difference. Here we go. Okay, I've now got a Yamaha 4C mouthpiece with my Ven 3.0 Daddario Ven read. Okay, so harder read. Let's see if that makes a difference. Let's smash through these three fingerings again now. Just about got all of them on the first fingering. Yep, pretty much got uh, pretty much got all the ones on the second fingering. Now the third one. <laughs> got it. All right. So the hard read makes a big difference, basically. If you're struggling away in a number two or a number two and a half read, you might find it more challenging to get above that kind of altissimo C range, okay? Right, let's have a quick look at the alto, just so you can hear that on alto. All right, now I've got alto with a Ven, again, a Ven 3.0 read, and um, it's a Jody Jazz HR eight star mouthpiece. So. Uh, here's the first fingering. Here's what it sounds like on alto. So I couldn't get the uh, I couldn't get the double F, but I got the G and the double. I got the sorry. I got the altissimo D and the double G. So this is what you might find as well. You might not get some notes. You might get other notes. You might just get a donkey. It's all a bit of a free form at this point. So keep persevering. And remember that with alto, it's much harder. You're really doing a fourth higher than all those tenor fingerings in terms of the embouchure and sort of air column. Right, let's move on to the second fingering now. Oh, it's a bit dicey, but that is really high for alto, super high. I mean, double G, that's ridiculous. Okay, quickly then, let's do the third fingering. I got that D triad, it's pretty hard though, I'm getting tired now, man. So, have a little experiment, it's actually much harder on alto. <laughs> This whole video, I'm just basically mugging myself. Um, have a little experiment and see if we can get that through the sunroof, through the uh, skylight, through the roof of the house into the uh, altissimo attic. Now, the attic might be defined as sort of altissimo G up to, you know, A or C even, that zone. That's actually quite hard to get compared to the ones above it. So that's the whole point of this exercise. Okay, that's all we've got time for this week with this crazy mad science experiment of Altissimo. The theory being you're going right above the attic of your Altissimo and coming in from the top. Now, if you had great success, please let me know in the comments. I would love it if just even one person had some kind of crazy breakthrough and suddenly realized that they could play Altissimo when they just thought they were squeaking. Otherwise, if it was just the uh, standard donkey sanctuary, let me know as well because that's also, you know, Hey, hey, you live to fight another day. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Don't forget to pick up your PDF of today's lesson, which has got those three fingerings and some of the notes that you might expect. The key point being, whatever comes out, it's legit. Okay, whatever comes out is legit, whether it be a donkey noise or a whistling kettle. They're all legit. You just got to harness it, hear it, control it. That's the whole point of the exercise. As always, you can get my saxophone success masterclass. And remember... Next few weeks, I've got something super exciting, which is going to blow your mind. If you want a bit more access, I want to go a bit deeper with Get Your Sacks Together, but <laughs> more on that later. Right. 
In the meantime, until next week, make sure you practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy your music. Take it easy. From the top to the bottom, I don't know why I did that to that. <laughs> From the top down, Forget that. I'm going to do it from the bottom to the top. Oh,